Oh my god. This is actually a known elephant. This is yeah. Hop. She's called Hop. Hop. Yeah. She's one of the really resident females that we have. Yeah. That's another big virtue female. It's just gone. The slaughter of elephants has become so bad, whole populations are at risk of dying out. Here in Kenya's Samburu region, elephants have traditionally thrived. But experts say there are now worrying signs of poaching. In the past three years, a quarter of the area's elephants have been lost. The poaching was really bad in 2011. We were able finally to do the sums for the whole year. And as we thought by October already, it was the worst year on record. We had all the warning signals. Warning signals translated into full-fledged poaching, and that's where we are right now. We've seen quite a lot of families that have lost their matriarchs. It is so traumatic because the babies need their mothers for experience, and to kill a mature female, it's like burning a whole library. This group is one of the groups that has severely hit in the sense that we've lost Emily, Sylvia, uh, Maya, and these were all really, really impressive and massive females that used to give this group the, the, you know, the leadership that this group needs. The trade is getting out of control. The scale is becoming very significant. I mean, for example, in 2011, over 23 tons of elephant ivory was seized in that year alone. That's just what customs and law enforcement are seizing around the world. We know that what they seize is just a fraction of what is really being traded. The illegal traders seem to have a very clear understanding of how the illegal ivory was acquired, how it was being shipped over, um, and, and the profits that they stood to gain. One of the illegal traders that we have on film stated that if he had 10 container loads, if nine of them were seized, it would still be worth his while. Ivory is essentially a commodity. It's a you know, very precious commodity in many markets and many cultures. The rarer they get, the prices get higher, and so the demand just grows. We have to make it unfashionable. We have to take enforcement more seriously. We have to really reduce demand, you know, as, and, and that's the big issue that we haven't really cracked. Some would say our odds are long. You know, the, the odds are long of us succeeding in making this happen, but we have a couple of unfair advantages. One is people love these animals. You know, elephants are the most remarkable creatures. We are facing a crisis with elephants. We do need to lower the demand and the price of ivory. This is critical.